Hello everyone. This is the second part of our chapter Control Structures in C Programming. In this part, we will learn Nested If Else Statement. In previous part, we have learned the different control structures, decision making control statement, and under this, we also learn if simple if statement, compound if statement. In this part, we will learn nested if else statement and else if ladder. See here is the syntax for nested if else statement. See here we are using the if and then expression. Expression means here we are using the one condition. See in this example, marks greater than uh, marks less than 40. This is the expression. And in this, if this condition is a true, then you can enter inside this bracket. So enter inside this and execute this statement. Means if your marks is really less than 40, then you can execute this part. So in this part, you will get the output printf fake. Okay. Then if this condition is a not true, then it will jump directly to the else statement. Okay, and inside the else again we are using the multiple condition. So inside the else, inside this bracket, we are writing here if, if and then expression. Here again the next condition, suppose this is condition 2. If this condition 2 is true, then only execute this part. Otherwise go to the else statement. And again in the else, again use the if. So in this way we are using the else if series. So sometimes it is known as else if ladder or you can say the nested if else statement. See the example here. If marks less than 40, print the fit. Else, else if, if execute this condition. If it is true, it will execute this part. If it is a false, if this condition is false, execute this part and in this. So let's see the one example related to the nested effects. See. Uh, suppose you uh, one uh, we will take the one real life example uh, like uh, suppose student got less than 40 marks then you can print it as a fit but the marks greater than equals to 40 then this is a past class and in past class there is subcategories means you can categorize it as a second class higher second class first class uh, uh, distinction Merit and you can categorize in this. Depending on the criteria, you can divide this range and you can do this condition. So, for this, we will need a nested if else statement. So, let's see the one example for this. So, enter the percentage of the student, accept the input as percentage of the student, and if this percentage is less than 40, print the fail message. If the percentage is greater than the 40, then there is a different condition. So let's see one example for this. See here, hash include std ivo.h. Here is a, we are using the one header file, std ivo.h. Then int main, here in percentage, accept the input from the user. So we are declaring this as a int. We can declare it as a floater. So here I am considering only the whole number. But if there is a decimal places, if there is a 70.32, suppose the mask is like this, then you need to take the float here. Okay. Print F, enter the percentage of the student. Okay. Enter the percentage of the student. Take the input from the user. So scan it, put in D, and get address of percentage. Take the data from the user. Okay. If this percentage less than the 40, if this percentage are the less than the 40, then if this condition is true, then only execute this block. Okay. Percentage. Suppose you have taken the percentage. Suppose, okay, here I am writing in a comment uh, box. If your percentage input is 50, if the input is a 50, then see here, percentage 50 is less than 40. No. At that time, this condition is false and you need to execute the else part only. Otherwise, execute the this if part, this first one part only. Okay. So, if percentage is less than 40, if suppose here is a percentage is, suppose the percentage is 30. If and execute this condition, if percentage less than 30, this 30 is less than 40. Yes, it is correct. Then only print the print if fail. 
okay it will execute only this statement otherwise you need to execute this part this else part and see in this else part there is a multiple condition if percentage if your percentage is now consider your percentage is a 50 50 is greater than 40 and why we are using the and to uh, reduce the multiple condition we are using the and and here we are uh, using the one range if the percentage is between the 40 to 50 then we are uh, declaring it as a first class okay so 40 to 50 there is a some range so we are writing here and this is logical and means suppose this one condition is true and this one condition is also true then only execute this printf pass class okay means if percentage is greater than equals to 40 if it's correct and this second one means you have to do be condition true hone chahiye then only you can execute the this part and you can print the pass class okay suppose uh, till this line if the if the percentage is a 50 or the 45 then the compiler will execute only this part. No need to execute, no need to see for these lines. Okay, you need to just uh, execute this part of your program and then you can close. Okay, then uh, after this it will reach to the end of the program. But here if the percentage is uh, 75, then it will check uh, in else also. If your percentage value is 75. 75 is greater than equals to 50? Yes. And 75 is less than 50? No. This condition is not true. So it will jump to the else part. And if your percentage is in between the range 50 to 60, then it will be in the second year. But our percentage is 75. So it will go to the next part, this else part. If 75 is greater than 60, yes. And 75 is less than 70? No. So again it will go to the else part. Okay. So our control is uh, at the else part and it will print in the else distinction. Here also you can add the multiple condition. Okay. But just for the example I am taking in the distinction. Okay. And after this you need to close it. Okay. And when we are writing, when you are writing the program like a uh, program for the nested structure, at that time you need to do this uh, indentation. Okay, means see here is the if is closing here, so you need to write the else part inside the else. Okay, this if part inside the else part, if part in this uh, lines inside this. So it's easy to manage this bracket. So close the else here. Okay, and this is the closing of which else? See, see here is the one else. After else, here is the one bracket. So closing of this. So after this, see, you need to specify this indentation. Okay, so after this, here is, see, this one is, one more bracket is open. So, see, so this is the one bracket and here you can specify. This is the first key or you can write in a comment, this is the closing of uh, which one is or you can do the uh, closing of which loop. Okay, so here you can write the extra information about this. Okay, here is a one more example uh, about the if else statement. This is the only uh, statement. See here, uh, here we are trying to print the maximum between the three numbers. Here we are considering the three numbers. So in that, see how we are using the compound. How we are using the uh, nested uh, if else statement. See, uh, enter the value of a, b, c. Here we are entering the three values. We need a three values. So read these three values from the user A, B, and C. If A is greater than B and A is greater than C, if A is greater than B also and A is greater than C also, see A is greater than uh, this B also and C also. So then print the A is greater. But A, A value is not greater than B or not greater than the C, then we need to execute this else part. So in a else, if now check for the B value. If B's value is greater than C and B's value is also greater than the A, then print C is greater. Means inside the else we are again using the if. Then see inside the else we are using the this if else. Okay, else. Else means what? No need to check now for the C. Because if 